the Gone Fishing Day event um, organised by New South Wales Surf Lifesaving. Absolutely fantastic to be down here in Hunter Park at Devoka, seeing literally hundreds and hundreds of people turn out to get that education around uh, the perils of rock fishing. Uh, this is a wonderful program. I want to congratulate Surf Lifesaving New South Wales, the fantastic team of Surf Lifesaving Central Coast, doing a wonderful job educating the public about what those measures are that they can do to help keep themselves safe. Today we have lots of different organisations and lots of different people who have come together uh, to help us with this event and educate people. We've got Maritime, we've got Marine, we have DPI Fisheries, we've got Shark Smart, we've got Spiros, um, one of our great expert fishermen here to share his knowledge. We also have Hardy from Team Kingies and Amar who shares his community story and his own experience at Evoca. Places I've been going lately haven't been too safe. And I've just ended up turning around straight away and just going home because it's not worth it. It's not worth my life, so I thought I'd learn a bit more. No fish is worth your life, so yeah, you want to always get back home to your family and kids. Family, with family or you enjoy it, yeah. I've been fishing since I was a little kid. still remember with, um, with the old man, five, six years old. As we got a bit older, started getting more into rock fishing. It's a bit more serious, a bit more dangerous. We're living in Sydney. And we're coming to Avoca just to gain some experience with uh, rock fishing, some sort of safety, life jacket, all those kind of stuff here. My, both, my, my uh, sons, they're very excited about fishing. Any fishing, f uh, fishing like rock fishing or a beach or any, anywhere. They Actually, they love fishing. It's a feeling you can't explain until you hook up onto a, a monster, you know, that fish of, fish of a lifetime. Uh, so yeah, it's just that thrill keeps us coming back and back trying to break our records and um, you know, kill some time as well and maybe bring your feed back to the family. It, it's exciting when we get fish and it's, it's just a different type of sport. Rock fishing is just, you know, you're there, it's exciting, it's thrilling. I think one of the guys said it's it's like the Formula One driving of fishing. Yeah, like it's dangerous but it's it's thrilling. We have 85% of our uh, participants today um, you know, speak a language other than English uh, and 85% of them as well uh, were not born in Australia. We know that migrants, especially new migrants and refugees, are the biggest risk group when it comes to falling into the water and rock fishing incidents because they just don't have the knowledge of the local Australian coastline. Fishing is a good sport, it's exciting when you catch fish but safety is the most important. Don't go out by yourself. You go with someone, either have the same experience like you or prefer is the one that have more experience than you. We had really great feedback from participants um, that they're learning things that they just you know, weren't aware of previously. We've got some really good expert knowledge here um, and I think what people are really loving is local fishermen just being able to teach them about you know, their own experiences um, so they really feel like they're getting real knowledge from real people who are fishing in those locations. Uh, the type of life jacket I have no idea but we have quite a few types and quite a few of those are illegal in Australia. It's not approved, not Australian standard, like, which is I never aware before. So I just log into the website, I can just buy anything I want, but actually it's not. So we're going to be heading out to the rock platform. We're going to be doing a die demonstration first. We're going to show them the rip current and how fast the rip current actually moves. And that's going to be really for all the families and all the participants today. We're then going to take out all the registered participants to actually see a rescue demonstration. And they're actually going to see people jumping into the water. These are trained lifesavers who will be getting in the water um, with life jackets that are not fitting well so that they can see what actually happens, what it looks like, and why it's important to wear a well-fitted life jacket. They're going to get to see an actual rescue demonstration so that they can learn firsthand what to do if they did fall into the water uh, and we'll also be taking them on a bit of a hazard tour of the Avoca rock um, platform as well so that we can point out the biggest dangers and where it is safer for them to fish. You always think you know everything but there's there's heap, heap lot of things to learn um, and, and that's what we've been gaining today so knowledge about life jackets, um, having emergency plans even before getting to the rock platform. Check the forecast, wear a life jacket, wear cleats. Yeah, like Carson, I had, to, I had to give him my cleats today. What is the right thing to do when you fall in the water? Because I assumed you'd try to jump back onto the rocks, but they teach me to swim away in the middle of the ocean pretty much, and then get back that way. Yeah, because when the wave will come, if we back, then we can get hurt like that. So we should 
uh, save ourselves like we should we should wear the life jacket never take off your life jacket from the car to the rocks and also back to the car um, as, as we saw my mate took it off and that split second things just changed yeah never turn your back to the water good boy never start fishing before assessing the environment checking the waves checking the condition knowing what the forecast is after throughout the day never never trust it it can change anytime research before research everything before you go yeah like you might make that one mistake and it'll cost you a life and making sure you let your family know so whenever i go out i send my live location to family um, make sure that they know where i am if i do end up in the water at least they can come back and uh, find me <laughs> apart from all the great education they're going to be getting their very own hobie life jacket um, which is valued at $160. It's a really great life jacket, a really new one. It's really great for rock fishermen uh, and it's going to be fitted for them as well. And really importantly, they'll be getting all the education about wearing the life jacket and maintaining the life jacket as well. It's wonderful. Awesome. It's been a lot of fun. Really, really, Amazing. time really well spent. Yeah, great success, well organised. Yes, thank you.